When I ask my dog for a hand tap, this is basically what I look for. A nice firm press in the center of the hand. This is a great little demo to clearly show how our energy affects our dog. When I present my hand in a dynamic way, the dog hits it dynamically. But when I present my hand in a less dynamic way, the dog doesn't even recognize it as a hand tap. Taking a look at these two hands, you can see there's energy in this hand, and in this hand, there's not as much going on. It's a simple difference, but you can see that when the hand is relaxed, such as I'm presenting it to Keen here, he barely tries to hit it. As soon as I put some energy in that hand, he goes after it pretty darn hard. As soon as I relax it again, we see the result. The energy we give our dogs in training has a gigantic impact on the way they behave. This is Julie with her puppy Valor. They have a great, very well connected relationship. So I've asked her to bring the energy level down so we can see what happens. Now right here he's giving her good attention because that's what he's used to doing. But as she keeps being kind of slow and just a little slow to reward, her reward hands coming in kind of slow, not a ton of interest. Now here we pick it up. Yeah! Now we have a puppy that's engaged, that's having a great time training that is completely connected to his trainer. He's not looking around at any of the distractions. Even when she's doing some control drills with the puppy, she's still keeping it fun, keeping her energy up, keeping that puppy engaged with her. And you can see he doesn't take his eyes off her. He's got his litter mate off to the side, his dad's running in and out of the picture, you got sheep in another pen, you got a dog and sprinklers being turned on and off. This is what we want, that our energy is so engaging, it makes all our training easier. In order to keep my dogs working at a very high level, I make sure I always have energy to invest in my training. And if I'm not feeling like I've got a ton of energy on a certain day, then I won't train, simple as that. I know that if I don't invest the energy in the training, then I won't be training something to as high a level as it should be trained. And I don't want my dogs practicing anything in a substandard way. Okay, Kiki! Nice! Nice! Get over here! Get close, you! Get close! Come here! Get inside! Sit! Get over here, you! Sit! Okay! Now I'm going to take it down a notch. I'm going to lower my energy level. I'm going to pet my dog as a reward in a soothing way. I'm going to walk away in a lackadaisical manner and recall him with little energy. So this is a great way to treat my dog when I'm sitting on a couch or he's sitting in my lap. But when I want to work my dog and get high energy, I need to bring that energy into the work. So now we're going to restart this drill. I put a smile on my face, call my dog with energy, I play with energy, I make the training exciting, I use dynamic energy, and now I have a different dog. And this is the dog I want to do agility with. Thank you.